Hello, boys and girls. Welcome back to Factorio. And we are standing once more in a deforested square uh, that we need for today's project. Actually, we need two of them, but we have another one right down here. The last time uh, we made sure that we have our petroleum set up um, going and ready and by the looks of it we are looking good we probably could produce a bit more but I also think we have a bit of a backlog for the need of uh, petroleum so once all the, the tanks and so are filled up we should see that even out and if not we could probably do with a few modules to speed things up and that's actually what we want to do in this square we want to produce some speed modules some productivity modules or speed modules in one square and productivity in another so let's see how we can achieve that and basically it does not matter which uh, which thing we uh, we choose here because all we have to do is and basically lay out the thing and uh, use it for the for the other type so let's figure things out here uh, we need a bit of wire and then it's just that oh uh, and we need the lower tiers as well unfortunately i forgot to add those so let's bring those to the to the top and because they also need all the um the, the electric circuits in the various colors and if we have them at the top the amount is added there at the bottom so if we would go for one uh, speed module per speed module three per second we need a ton of furnaces so we already know that's not gonna happen uh, let's reduce the amount to point zero where does that leave we're still way above what we can do so probably the the factor 10 that's still not enough we're down to to 33 and the, the limiting factor here I think is is the uh, input because what if we bring that down to point zero eight twenty yeah that's I think that is doable twenty six furnaces that's a bit more than a than a yellow belt so we need actually for the for the input we need a red belt and for the output we need a red belt and because we are doing the the weaving with with undergrounds we need to do the to do the weaving with red and blue belts and uh, luckily we have uh, set the blue underground belt production up here so we have that so looking at this then if we have this set up um, let's see um, here I think wherever we have more than one assembly machine that we need we can try replace this with uh, 
assembly machine number three, which is a bit faster, so we need less of them. And that should help. Yes, and here on top, we only need one blue one, so uh, no need to, to have a faster than that one. So on this one, we don't have an output because uh, the uh, speed modules will end up in a chest, but we have these five ingredients. And unlike most of the setups, um, where we have a furnace array or the large furnace array is for iron. We need the large one here for the copper. So, uh, let's actually copy this over to here and then have This going there. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So we actually need three more. And then here, that needs to be red. And then all this needs to be one level higher. That's what we need for the copper. Um, when we look here for iron, we need 14. So let's see if we can have 14. This is 20, so 14 should be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Like this. Yeah, that works. Then we can have that part here. Nice. That gets that out of the way. And then we need basically this set up here. There we have a nice one. Um, for plastics, we actually need two, too much, two uh, chemical plants, but a sink. We can work around that. Where are we? Let's put that up here. Um, and let's figure that out a bit later. And what's the last thing we need? Uh, sulfuric acid. We certainly have a station for that somewhere. Preferably a standalone one. Oh, that's probably over. No. Oh, let's, let's copy this one. Um, I think we can squeeze that in here. Yeah, 
that fits nicely. This one train limit one and it will be a sulfuric acid delivery. Nice. All right, then now it's just time to let the, the robots do whatever they do. And we can then figure out the, the rest of this build. And once we have the first one, the first module figured out and uh, laid out and uh, set up and actually uh, producing, uh, then uh, we can copy the whole thing over and uh, we change the, the uh, recipes on the assembly machines for the other type of module. The two chemical plants for plastics we can directly hook up to the uh, tanks and thanks to the long blue underground we just can have the coal input going under and we grab it from either side and then have output here on this side. And with what's, what is nice at this stage in, in the game is basically we have most of the things built um, somewhere so we can go around and steal. For example, copper wire, we need seven assembly machines. So maybe let's go for an even number. Uh, let's say eight and then we can copy this and I think copper we only need for the wires and then we go further with the uh, and we go further with the the wire and we need red belt here and also on the output and here we want to have these machines and power um, We can bring that together here on this side and next up is the green circuits. That's the only thing that requires the, the iron and I probably should go grab some uh, inserters because before we are finished with this build we probably need some more and also stock up on some other materials all right let's continue this build next up as i said our green circuits uh, green circuits should have somewhere with here we have it somewhere in a different layout. No. Um, for green, we will need four. So, actually, let's split up this one. going that way and then um, we can have the iron coming up here this way and then one two one two that's the green ones there in here. And, and long handed here 
and here, here and here. And then output. Here at this level, we can do with the yellow belt. And we do power that way. Yes. And then red circuits. We will bring this over to here, down, and combine the, the green and the, the purple on, on one belt, and here we need eight. And I think, yeah, here we have the proper setup. Well, let's copy this. To here. That goes in there, that goes there. And then of course, we upgrade the assembler machines. And connect to power. And here we probably want a bit more. Nice. Don't need that. And then we have a full belt there. Right, so the blue circuits are the last one. Um, there we need the red ones and the uh, blue ones and let's do it that way bring this up one more input input Im input input and then we have output here on this side and here we need a bit of uh, pipage going for the sulfuric acid which will bring up from down here pump thing that we need so we need two for the blue ones one for the uh, level two and uh, so that's level one then level two level three actually we can do it that way it's level two that's level three so 
So input, 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 and input, and then the same thing here, and there direct insertion, and here we need this and then a bit of power. Okay, question is, now that we have everything on, on one side, we have, actually there we should have a red belt at least up to here, where we have consumed a bit of the uh, green circuits. So everything that's, that's after that um, should be okay to, uh, that's, that's basically the overflow, should be okay with just having a yellow belt. And we're producing uh, the module ones. We already have one in here. If we have four, we're producing that one. And here we also only are missing the last one. So let's wait. Oh, uh, we also need an output chest. Um, here, uh, let's have those. And let's place that as far away as possible. There. And then let's say we want, I think, 200 of those and a max of 250. And from the productivity, I think uh, 50 will be sufficient. So let's wait and see if this actually works. And once it's work, we can copy the whole setup um, down here, change the recipes for productivity. Now that we have backlogged here the green circuits, we can actually see all the factories, the assembly machines for the modules are working. However, they will not work continuously because we just don't have the uh, throughput on, on material side. But this one here should soon finish the first module three. So that basically proves this system is working. So let's copy this and paste it down here and let's hop down here because these four assembly machines those are the only ones we need to change so this one will then become productivity one productivity one productivity two and productivity three and all the rest let's just uh, do let do the, the robies do their work and soon uh, we will have uh, productivity and speed modules however with the speed that they are produced it will be a while until we have a considerable amount um, to uh, uh, supply our um, our existing factory um, with with these modules, but we do have to start setting this up at at some point, which we did, and uh, now we can turn our attentions to. Uh, 
to other topics. Uh, I'll let this uh, work on, on the side and then um, see what we can actually do with the modules where we can improve uh, existing builds with, um, with things that, that we need. All right, we do have some belts missing red. We are missing inserters. So I will finish this build, grab those items, and uh, I will see you in the next episode. Until then, goodbye.